Liam, two goals in the first half have settled it today. What do you think of that result and performance? Uh, result, I'd say the goal, there was a goal between the two teams. Uh, Brackley were better than us. Uh, however, that doesn't mean to say they win. Uh, work rate in the first half was poor. We never pressed, we never got close to them, we stood off them. Uh, and the two goals really from a defensive point of view is shambolic. Uh, one's a horrific individual error and the other one is just you've got a left back and a left midfielder actually they're just marking the right, their right back and they both left it, give the responsibility to each other. He's come inside and you know, can go wherever and it's ended up in the bottom corner. So, but uh, you know we were second best all over the place in the first half. Second half slight improvement but the game's gone now. You said we were second best and there was a gulf between the teams. In terms of the overall performance, can you put your finger on why that was? We never played with enough intensity at the start. Uh, you know, we let them dominate the play and they bossed it in the midfield areas. Uh, never really got close to them. And Walker and Byrne ran the game arms and caused us problems by dropping in. Uh, but you, all you do, you got to rely on your two centre halves to deal with arms, and like as if he's playing like a second striker, and uh, that becomes Dean and Brian's responsibility. But Lynch, you get caught in, in the middle of do a doom, don't a doom, and then in the end you don't do either. You let the man dictate the play, and then you let Armisen run off the back of it anyways. And that, that was the problems we were causing ourselves through the game. So we've changed shape in the second half. In hindsight, it's a little bit of you know staying in the game. Um, but it is what it is. A bit of a shock, as as I said, of late we I think we've been playing well. Uh, so this is a setback along the way. We've just got to girls brush ourselves down, get ready for Kersen in the FA Cup. You mentioned that we came into this game in good form. Um, started with the early shot from Morgan that uh, that hit the bar. Do you think the the first goal and the timing of the first goal? Did you think that had a big impact on how the game panned out? I think I think the one thing I'd say from the the, the opportunity, the goal, it's not the fact. That is he offside? Isn't he offside? It's more the fact that it's like when we recently when we missed a penalty or missed a chance, you can actually see the player's heads drop. Uh, you know, it's a 25 yards effort or whatever it was. It's the underside of the it's the bar comes out, Dion heads it in, and from a set piece where it originated from, it, it's a bit difficult to actually accept the offside. But you know, if it is, it is. You know, I'm not I'm not saying that, but it's just that little bit of misfortune hasn't gone our way at all. Uh, and that gives you like something to hold on to. That didn't happen, and then, as I said, 10, 15 minutes later, you know they've scored a 25-yard left footer into the bottom corner, and you know we can only blame ourselves for that. You mentioned confidence. Um, obviously, we created lots of chances in the past couple of games, scored a few goals as well in the cups. Is there a reason why do you think we couldn't kind of couldn't make a mark in an attacking sense today? Yeah, I think to be honest, I am always trying to be honest. I said where we currently are, you look at the teams up in the top six and the ones we've come across, we've come across them all really. You know, we haven't been close to any of them. Uh, so that's a gulf and that's where we are and that's where we need to improve. You know, teams in the middle reaches and the lower ends, yeah we can we can compete with them and we can stay games. We have to take chances and be more clinical. But really if we we need to actually build it to actually get to I think if, if you look at Brackley, you know, this is Kevin's third year and said first year they went that thingy last year they've gone and won the trophy and got beaten in the playoff final. So you know what I mean? So and then this year you look at them now, they're gonna be up there or thereabouts again. So, you know, it will take a little bit of time. I know football doesn't always wear like that, but it, in theory, you know, as a football club we've got to build, we've got to try and build our own identity and you know currently trying to get them to stay in games uh, and gradually as, as we you know start developing obviously in training and personnel changes and one thing or another we will improve I said but you know as I said it, at the moment it's been a difficult start to the season, very difficult start to the season and as I said you know people will be writing players off writing yourself off, writing Macker off, whoever. I said, well, you know, we stick together and we, and we you know, work hard, collective effort, and you know, we start climbing the table. It's hopefully like, massively important, the game next week in the FA Cup, just for the funds. And then gradually we'll just keep on plodding on. But this is how it works, and then you, you've got to actually believe in it and keep building it. And then you know, all of a sudden you start going to other games where the other period when you're not actually playing great and you still win. Uh, and we've got to get ourselves there, but it'll only happen by staying calm and staying set and settling, keep settling in and improve when we can. And you know that's that's where I'd say I'm up to. You mentioned about the building process, as you say, that's an ongoing thing. It's going to take time. You've um, added Morgan Hobson Smith to the squad this week. I think he's trained with you a bit. Can you just explain a bit about uh, the signing of him and what you hope he'll bring? 
Well, he's another wide player, so obviously we've been utilising Dion really as a central striker, so actually we needed cover in them wide areas where really you'd only have Devani and he's had Brad. So we need an option. Uh, I've seen him in pre-season when I went to watch Andy Hollands play for, for, for Marine, and he was very impressive. But they've had him watched a couple of times during the course. He's been ripping it up for them. He's Brian Richardson, who you've got to say, has been a different class. He's allowed him to come into train with us. Uh, you can see he's technically very good. Uh, and that's what we, we should be about, you know, young, hungry, athletic uh, players who want to move up the ladder and, and want to produce. And you know, as I said, I'm, you know, players like that have always actually worked for me. So you know, we will get his chance and his opportunities up to him to take it. And you know, adapt to the level. It's a bit of a learning curve. Like today, we didn't include him just so we can have a look at it, uh, have a look at the game, and look at the level. Uh, so it might have, obviously is going to be a step up from where he has, but I'm sure there's many others who've actually made the step up and have adapted well. Uh, and the fact that he's, his athleticism and his pace is, you know, he's always going to be an asset.